now, because I'm going to stand up. Oh, oh. Now a chance to to talk about basketball and wow. spin a ball on my finger and show wow. off. Wow. Let's throw the ball over to Mike Tuck. Oh, we didn't make it to Mike Tuck. Let's pretend that didn't happen. No, oh, it did happen. Oh, there oh. you go. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that was ridiculous. That went really well. Mike. Oh, uh, morning, Mike. <laughs> how are you, Mike? How I'm doing you? really well. How are you guys? Good, yeah. It's so good to have you on the show talk about basketball. I'm a big basketball fan. I used to love playing the game myself, but then something happened. I stopped growing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're a professional basketball over here in the UK. Uh, tell us a bit about the BBL. Yeah, so the BBL is the British Basketball League. Uh, it consists of 10 teams uh, across England, and there's one team uh, up in Scotland and Glasgow. Uh, and yeah, it's the, it's the domestic league here. It's the it's the um, it's the Premier League of basketball uh, within the UK, uh, and it's the highest standard. And you 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 play for the Sheffield Sharks. How are you doing at the moment? Yeah, we're we're doing all right. We uh, we're two and zero oh in the league, so we're we're up there at the top of the table. But it's it's still very early doors. Um, we had a game in London last night in uh, the Cup quarterfinal, which unfortunately we lost, so we're out of that. But so now our focus shifts to the league. Uh, I can I can tell from your accent you're not from these shores. Uh, you're you're Canadian, aren't you, um, Mike? Tell us uh, how you ended up in UK. Yeah, so I was uh, I was born and raised in, in Toronto, Canada, but my mother was actually born uh, in England, in Bournemouth. So um, I have a British passport um, and grew up in Canada, uh, went to uh, university uh, in, in the States on an athletic scholarship um, and then, you know, decided that I wanted to uh, to turn pro after that. So uh, use my British passport to, to head over to Europe. And I played in a few different countries in, in Europe, uh, Cyprus, Luxembourg, France and Ended up on the sunny shores of England. That that stadium where the Toronto Raptors play, something else, isn't it? It's beautiful there. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely amazing. One one of the best uh, stadiums in the NBA, in my opinion, and one of the best fan bases in the NBA for sure. Yeah. So, so, so when did you when did you first start playing over here, Mike? I start, I first started playing over here in England in two thousand and nine. So I am the longest serving um, Sheffield Sharks player. Uh, and I've been captain uh, since 2011. So we've always been um, obsessed with soccer over here, football, soccer. Uh, basketball's always had a bit of a hard, hard time breaking it. In Europe, it's huge, isn't it? In Spain and Greece and countries like that. Is it starting to grow over here now? 100%. Uh, I've definitely seen a, a, a big change in, in the last, I'd say, five years. Um, it's the second most participated sport played uh, amongst uh, youngsters, teenagers, and, and young adults uh, in the UK uh, right after football. Um, so there's a lot of people getting involved with it. And, you know, it, it's a great game. It, it's, you know, similar to football where all you need is a pair of shoe, shoes and a ball and, and, and you're good to go. So um, we've seen great strides uh, within, you know, the numbers of participation, um, but also around the league, around the BBL, I think, um, you know, the league is, is heading in a good direction. Um, we're getting more investment. Uh, teams are starting to build their own venues. Um, the Sheffield Sharks are, are on their way to, to build their own venue very soon. Um, and, you know, there's just it's just going from strength to strength right now. Mike, before we get on to talking about the Sharks quickly, is the women's game growing as well? 100%. Uh, the, B, the WBBL is, is, is in a great place as well. Um, there's, there's 13 teams across, across that league, um, a really high standard. We, we've seen some, some great British talent and some, some great import talent coming into that league. Um, and, you know, you got a team like the, the London Lions women's team that are, that are in the uh, FIBA Euro Cup right now. So uh, they're, they're, made, they're dipping their toes into Europe and, and that's what you want to see. I'm, I'm always intrigued by, by, by the height thing. You're, you're six foot seven, aren't you? That's are there right. any players who are below six foot who, who make it? Oh, oh, 100%. Yeah, like I said before, there, there's no height restriction in basketball. Obviously, obviously height helps. But, um, you know, if, if you can handle the ball, if, if you've got speed, if you can shoot the ball, you know, anybody, anybody can play this game. Anybody can pick up a basketball. It, it's super easy. Now, that, now, if you're above six foot, obviously that does help. I mean, the tallest guy I've ever, I've ever played against in the BBL uh, was uh, seven foot six. Wow. But then um, I've been on uh, Sky Sports NBA before uh, 
doing some punditry with Muggsy Bogues, who played in the NBA, had a really long NBA career, and he was only about five foot four. So the range goes from from small to tall. I, I, you know, when I was playing Mike, I didn't have speed, accuracy, or height, and they dropped me. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe it. Uh, I've, I've actually watched Shaq doing training, Shaquille O'Neal, years ago. I went to. Well, I was out in Toronto where, where, when the Dream Team Two were out there. These guys are so agile as well with that height, though, aren't they? They're amazing athletes. Oh, absolutely amazing! Shaq was, you know, an incredible athlete, and. I don't know what year that was, but I actually saw I actually saw the Dream Team 2 in Toronto. I think it was in 1994. So we might have been in the same arena there because I, I saw that team play and Shaq was. I remember you. <laughs> that was one of my that was one of the things that actually got me into basketball was watching that Dream Team 2 and Shaq being one of the most dominant players of all time, 100 percent I had to interview a few of them, and when you sit on a chair, their knees are there. It's I mean, it's <laughs> and they shake your hand and their hands are like those great big gloves, and it's like it's, it's just incredible. Are you going to win the title this year? Oh. Ooh, ooh. It's, it's still early doors, but listen, we've got an extremely confident group, um, and, and we're excited. We're 2-0 and in the league right now, and, you know, anything, anything could happen. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, an older guy in this league. I'm a vet guy in this league. I, I've seen it all. I've done it all, and I know that uh, I, I don't have too many seasons left in me, so it's, it's, now would be a good time to, to bring some silverware back to Sheffield.